And now let's move to the next uh, phase that will be uh, placing the patterns in the surface of the tire. Okay, let's make now the pattern uh, for this tire. Uh, this will be pretty easy actually. Uh, the pattern we need to model is this piece and also this piece. It's just a repeating pattern. So let's start by this piece maybe. I'll start with a single poly. Uh, I will hit T to free move. This one here, 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 and here as well. So now I will make a loop slice in uniform, then bevel. about so and then a loop slice again in pre mode like so so I can get rid of this this will be our first pattern <clears throat> now maybe I could move this here make another loop slice here Actually, Shift C will be easier to make. Okay, these two edges I can move them a bit so, so I can get a curvy shape like this. Now for this part, I'll do the same. Draw a rectangle, hit T, and move the vertices. One here, one here, one here. I want this to be completely straight. I will make a loop slice here, uniform. And make another curvy surface. And here, another one, bevel. And get rid of these two polys. So this shape is done. Now for the other shape, another rectangle. This will be here and this will be um, about here. This needs to be flat. Again a loop slice and define little curve. I will do now, um, let me see, I want a loop slice here in free mode and a loop slice here in uniform. That's it. Bevel. Now I can get rid of this poly and this poly. So that part is done. I only need to control C, control V and move the shape about here. And now the last one. I will make another rectangle. This will go here. Okay. I'm going to make a loop slice here. That's it. Loop slice. Again, bevel. Bevel this. Bevel this. About so. Now I can get rid of this polygon and this one. Double click, Control C, Control V. W to move, and this will be one of the parts. So I can um, maybe I will fine tune this a bit, or maybe later. So this is how it looks in subdivision mode. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, what I'll do is switch to perspective and I want to extrude. I don't need this part. Yeah, this will fit. Now I want to to harden this a bit. So I'm gonna go selecting all the edges I want to be hardened. Okay, this and this. What else? Um, nothing more. So let's make a bevel in square mode. And make something about so. Mm -hmm. All is fine. I will make a cut. So press C and make a cut here. Another cut here. So I can get rid of these two segments. So it's now all quads. have this little let's see how I can fix this mm, oh yes I will select this I'll see in symmetry mode with a count of two and I can't make this so yeah now it's working mm -hmm. yeah it works for me and I can select this duplicate mirror in um, you know, instead I guess yes select invert and I can now move this guy to here okay so this is now the pattern we want to follow I want to rotate this 100 no, 90 degrees. I'll move it up. If I now <clears throat> yes, I want to. I want to make this. Mm -hmm. This is a bit, a bit off, so I want to place it this to here and this to about about here. Uh, yes, this can be it. So from here, I will need to. right view I will select this and with a radial fall off starting from here I will now move these guys okay let's adjust the fall off And I'll try to match uh, the curve of the tile. Uh, something like that. Let's turn on the rate of fall off. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna place these guys about, about here. Let's see. Okay, this is gonna be something about about here yes mm -hmm. 
Let's flatten this a bit. Uh, yeah, this will be this will be the position. So we have this pattern already done um, in place. What we need now is to give it some shape and make it go across all along the, the tire surface. So um, to make this, first of all, I will select all these guys. the upper part, uh, select, invert, and remove. Now let me switch to four viewports. One will be right view, one will be a front view. Let's make a radial fall off. I'll draw this. <coughs> So the center will be in zero zero zero. Uh, sorry, here zero zero zero, and the size will be five by five by five. Okay. So if I now move this geometry, that's it. I have this perfect curvature. Space to deselect. Set the fall up to none. And now from a single viewport. Okay, let's move this. To here. Okay, now it's everything okay. And now it should work. Polygon. We can and that's it, that's it. Yeah, it's working. Okay, so I'm going to this pattern. Okay, I don't need this. I'm going to right click lasso style lasso. And remove all this. Yes. And now duplicate radial array with a count of uh, 45, which is a good number. Apply. And yes. That finally worked. Worked great to my taste. Okay.